What's going on, guys? I took a Benadryl like at 3.50. Stopped working at 4.30. And I just like laid back in the chair for a little bit to, uh, I don't know, relax. And like 20 minutes went by. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> That's time travel. Like literally time travel. How are you guys doing? Uh, YDBT Daily. I should edit the title. Let me edit the title. Because I want the hashtag to be like a thing. Daily. Um, today we're talking the most reliable uh, boosted setups. Reliable. Reliable. We all know turbos make the most, the most power. We all know turbos make the most power. But since you guys don't know how to listen, I'm telling you, reliability is more attractive sometimes than max power right like a lot of you guys are like a lot of you guys are probably like oh my god this guy's twin turbo kit made 1100 right then it melts lines wastegate issues loose pipes loose couplers false knock things hitting the body somewhere boost controller blah all this bullshit and for most of you out there that are not willing to do any work that's not for you now, based on my experience, I'll start listing some of the uh, most reliable boosted setups for Coyotes based on my personal experience, okay? Before we do that, we start talking to the people. Uh, Clip Clop the Horse in the house. JD Swag, Paul H. Coca-Cola, the owner of the biggest dud on the planet. Brandon M. Um, Coca-Cola says, if you're rich and get deals like Alex, then more power to you. That's hilarious. A lot of people think that I... Hmm. An interesting statement, knowing how much shit I've been through in this piece of shit industry, right? This industry is biggest, full of some of the biggest pussies, like, on the planet. And uh, to stay in it, you got to, I don't know, uh, you know, you got to eat some shit. And it's not a good industry to be in if you want to be honorable, good, loyal. Motherfuckers play both sides all the time. So... Because I've been able to carve out a little niche in the social media world uh, and I get offered things, you know, you have to be careful. You can't just take everything and go, yeah, I want everything. And you got to rep everybody because manufacturers think that when they give you something that you owe them loyalty in perpetuity. No, you want my loyalty. You better pay me per month. Oh, you're not looking to pay me per month. You think a blower kit is going to. <laughs> keep me loyal when you know this channel could reach a decent amount of people you got it way fucked up um copy guy who says been popping today what's been popping brandon m angel jovel coca-cola angel jovel again junior garza clip clop matthew leblanc jay rubin most reliable tvs lay least amount of failure point okay there you go he's not wrong but um let's start with my 2011 mustang that was the first one that ever had a blower anything and that car, once it got a TVS, that blower didn't come off. And the belt lasted over 20,000 miles with an 82 millimeter pulley, uh, 52s, a 120 P mass, and a uh, twin jet 67. 20,000 miles. 20,000 miles. I didn't have to do shit. How you doing? Can I get him? I didn't have oh, to do yeah. nothing. I didn't have to do a goddamn thing. Only when I started to pull it down and, you know, get E85 in it, didn't have to do anything. And half of the stuff was literally just maintenance, you know, making sure that uh, the, the pulley was on properly, the, put a new belt on it. I never went eight rib with that thing. I went six rib and it was six rib its whole life. So I never touched the TVS. Uh, so that is like, in my opinion, one of, if not the most reliable power plants you can get out there a roush tvs or a vmp it's all the same shit um those are kits that roush offers warranty on them coca-cola thank you for becoming a bitch a level member he is right it's the one they offer warranties on um it's made by a company that works real closely with ford but since gen 3 came out power i don't think is great but i think reliability is probably going to be awesome so if you're one of those guys 
that you just want a little oomph, a little oomph. A TVS is right up your alley. An 82 millimeter on a 2.3 or a 88 millimeter on a 2.6 is more than you'll ever need and you won't have to fuck with anything. Just pump gas, put gas in it, keep all changes going. That thing will make 650 all day, every day, and you're going to be a happy guy. Unless you're one of these people that just keeps wanting to constantly modify the vehicle. Constantly modify. You don't know how to just leave well enough alone. Hey, asshole. Hey, asshole. He just woke up. He is way feisty. Um, you don't know how to leave well enough alone. Now, Whipple setups are also very reliable and extremely, extremely tune friendly. Like extremely tune friendly. R. Torres asked the stupidest question on the chat today. Congratulations, R. Torres. You asked the stupidest question on the chat. If you're not aware of what's happening with EPA and all this shit and you have the balls to ask that question and expect an answer, that's hilarious. So Whipple calibrations, in my opinion, are the most tune friendly. Why is that? Gen 1 TVSs, for whatever reason, unless you have access to, even if you have access to the Raj file, they're prone to not stalling, but there's an idle dip that has been around for a very long time. It's been cured, but I'm telling you, it's a very very much a pain in the ass to try to nail it to be perfect for whatever reason the whipple setups have taken care of any issue like have taken care of any of that idle dip issue now obviously the calibration helps a lot and the parts that it's made with i still think the best oval ever made again the best oval throttle body ever made is the whipple 132 the whipple 132 is the most tried and true reliable throttle body gen 2 electronics by the way I, it was so good that Jake retrofitted it in a TVS back in the day. I retrofitted it in the Edelbrock uh, supercharger. So in terms of a very reliable part, uh, the Whipple supercharger and 132 millimeter throttle body is pretty, pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. So the TVS and the Whipple, there is no better than this. That I think the TVS hits harder than low, especially at low boost. Have you ever driven... Because people are so stupid how they compare superchargers. People out there compare superchargers at their absolute max level. Oh, Whipple made 1100. Oh, oh the, the, the TVS only made 1060. Meanwhile, you will never make that. Meanwhile, 90% of the people will never make that. Literally never make that. Put a Whipple at 10 PSI pump gas versus a TVS at 10 PSI pump gas. 2.3 even. 2.3 Roush TVS versus a Whipple 2.9. Two, uh, uh, two the You know, I'm saying uh, generation by generation. He's going to jump. <laughs> He's going to stay. Stay. Uh, I still put my money on the 2.3. Now the 2.6. The problem with the 2.6 is it took away that down low whoop. That fucking, that fucking whip up that it does. That uh, The 2.6 took it away because the rotor pack is spinning slower. And you don't get that seat of the pants feel anymore. So that's when the Whipple caught up the 3.0 with their new uh, front feed design. That was awesome. Uh, intercooler on top, real good shit. So Whipple, TVS, put them on 10 PSI pump gas and just drive the car. It's going to be fine. My, my white car with the Vortex Supercharger, so reliable. I've never had any issues with it except that, you know, I had motor issues, but the blower assembly itself, I haven't had to do anything. I literally have not had to do anything with the blower assembly. I even swapped the pulley out, used the same belt, over 20,000 miles on that setup. Zero issue. Zero issue. You cannot jump, buddy. You will get hurt. And then you're going to go shit and piss all over the fucking living room. I know you. You're an asshole. Um, so any stock throttle body application, I think, is highly desirable. When it comes to supercharging, whether it be a Paxton or a Vortec, that's fine. Now, people are going to say, what about Pro Charger? What about a Pro Charger? As long as they're not using an auxiliary crank pulley, meaning bolting another crank pulley on the fucking crank to drive a blower, it's fine. Does Pro Charger make any um, superchargers, D1, P1, S550 and up, that do not require you to install an auxiliary pulley on the crank to drive it. 
I don't know that. I don't care. I, I, a pro charger to me is not even a, a starting point. Uh, not not only because on some personal shit, but honestly, I've never been super impressed with the with with the way it's laid out. Now they're offering crank supports, which somehow look identical to um, MFPs. You know? Oh no, it's totally. It's totally a, uh, um, it's totally one of those uh, coincidental. How else are you gonna build it? How else are you gonna build it? You have limited space. Fuck out of here with this bullshit. Um, so yeah, I think a TVS, a Whipple, Vortec Paxton. In my opinion, the least amount of work you have to do under the hood, and the most reliable and tune friendly. So tune friendly, I would say the Whipple number one. Then. You could do uh, number two, three, uh, or number two would be the any stock throttle body a blower application, and then the last would be the TVS because of the twin bore throttle body, and that's usually what I go. And that's all my experience. So let's just talk some shit. Get some of your um, get some of your uh, thoughts in here. Art Torres asked about. Look, if you come in this chat asking about removing catalytic converters, not only are you fucking stupid, but you're trying to get an answer on a question that. You, everyone knows the answer to. The EPA does not allow you to remove cats and as a company does not allow you to make changes to the calibration to remove cats. So asking a tuner, if you remove cats, if you need a tune, you're literally, you're literally, tr you're trying to make someone self snitch. Because if you say no, you don't need a tune, EPA thinks, oh, their tunes are set up for catless. When from Ford itself, you can remove the cats, it'll throw lights, the car will not hurt in performance at all. So please, be fucking smart. Don't try to make people self-snitch. Don't try to set people up to, to, to try to get them in trouble. Asking stupid fucking questions like that, you're going to get stupid attitude right back. Because that is a real fucking stupid question. Odin and Edelbrock comparable? Yes, Ray Pad. The Odin and uh, Edelbrock are comparable blowers, absolutely. Um, they got Angel Javel, Troy Johnson. What's the difference between Vortec and Paxton drivability wise? None. The same tune is used. Literally the same tune is used. Guys, the same tune. What, what, if the MAF housing, if the MAF housing is three and a half inches and you got ID 1000s and a BAP, the motor doesn't care how big the blower is. It doesn't give two shits. Imraj Grewal, VMP was his Whipple. You know, I just went on a rant about that exact same thing like two seconds ago. Jay Rubin says, and yet, you know, Jay Rubin, people do use this argument against me. Alex, diesel trucks have turbos? Right. From the factory. And they don't come max effort. And they're usually computer controlled. So... Are you thinking, okay, stock turbo vehicles, stock turbo equipped vehicles, EcoBoost Mustangs, uh, e EcoBoost trucks, uh, uh, Focus STs, things like that. No issue. The moment an aftermarket guy tries to make a kit, reliability, I'm not saying performance and power, reliability, go to shit. Someone says, hi, Tony. Tony's just chilling. He, he's mad he's like in a little timeout because... He smells the bread. I got a little piece of bread right here. And he's like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, you're waiting. You're waiting, bro. <laughs> Mike Hunt says, Alex, hoping the pictures of the SCTX4 I sent were what you're looking for. Those were the worst photos I have ever seen. So I asked, like yesterday's chat, somebody asked me, or somebody said, hey, I have an SCTX4 that has uh, the ability to turn off the rear O2s, the rear O2s, in uh, uh to turn them off and i'm like okay <laughs> and i said send me a photo of of that and then like okay so they sent me a photo and check out the photo they sent it's hilarious oh my god stop stop being an asshole dude uh i'm not gonna uh, what the fuck why does it want me to uh confirm an account oh my god what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> it's over. exactly nothing is over nothing Oh my god, it's actually. You just don't turn it oh, off. it's just done. Just just done. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. Save. Done. Just get me into my fucking email already. Why is it asking me to verify 15 fucking things? God damn it. 
Let me see. Uh, proof of SCT. Okay, look at this photo. This motherfucker sent me this. <laughs> hey, Alex, I'm going to send you a good, clear picture of, of uh, you being able to shut off O2 on an SCTX4. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Zoom in. You can barely see it. Dude, I mean, what phone did you use? You, you, the lighting is terrible. Like, oh, thank you for the photo. I really appreciate that photo. It's awful. It's fucking awful. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Eliza, Alex, on a Gen 3 NA application, is there any preferable spark plugs to gap other than stock? Nope. Any NA application needs a stock spark plug. Bone stock spark plug. Bone stock gap. Needs nothing. 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 Nothing needs to be done NA for spark plugs. And whoever tells you any different is trying to sell you spark plugs. Uh, Max Effort is how I daily drive, though, says Hillary Clinton. How much weight can you realistically save when you put an L when you got an 11 to 14 car? Someone told me a Challenger Charger power seats are 80 pounds alone. Crazy. Well, you can bring... Uh, section hay is 30... 3,500 pounds. And has no AC. Has no front sway bar. Has an aftermarket K member. It's just a big, heavy GT500. But I've seen some S197s be in the low 3,000s. But never under 3,000. Unless they take a Sawzall to the motherfucker. Someone said, great photo. Exactly. Like, like the worst fucking photo to help, like, bring that thing inside. Bring that thing inside. No. <coughs> uh, that's the Razer Metro PCS data plan. Nice. <laughs> Leave it to me. He used the Razer flip phone for that picture. Um, ported iPhone camera right there. <laughs> Great Trollholder says, yeah, that's how the X4 came with old firmware. That was before the EPA slapped them on the wrist and implemented the cloud system. I mean, even if you are, um, even if you're connected to the cloud, that doesn't guarantee anything with the X4 unless you physically update the thing. And the only reason it would need an update is to obviously remove certain things or add certain things. But, I, I, you know, if you don't connect to the cloud, you can just run that fucker forever. Um, sorry, going to revise this comment. Can still turn off the Euro 2s with Cobb, EQ Tech, Boot Mod. Looks like the EPA hasn't made their way to them yet. Yeah, if you have, if you're one of those companies that's still offering the ability to turn off O2s in a device, they know. They already know. They know this. Um, can I get a, can I get a budget fuel system shout out? Oh yeah. Matthew Goodall, Matthew Goodall, Matthew Goodall. So Matthew Goodall has a pro charger. I think he tried a 4.0 pulley on it and the fuel system went, fuck you. Now I told him, or he said, Hey Alex, I'm going to buy a fuel system. And I'm like four innovations. He's like, no, some guys GT350 hat. And I'm like, oh, <sighs> how many times have I said it on this chat? Anyway, he puts it in fuel system spikes to shit. Awesome. Then I said, lower boost on E70. Lowers boost, it's not spiking as much. It's keeping up to about 7,400 RPM, but after that, it really starts to spike. So I'm like, there you go. Just another case where people get a budget fuel system and you're done. Understand this. If it says budget, don't buy it. It means for broke motherfuckers who want to get into the game, budget means for broke motherfuckers that want to get into the game. <laughs> I bet psychics take better photos than that was. A uh, little late. What's up, everyone? What's up, Jeremiah? Can we just started talking a little shit? No big deal. Um, chill on the photo, guys. He's getting a clearer pic with a better phone now. <laughs> you ever see that where people try to defend people's fuck ups by, by a comment like that? And I'm like, really, dude? Just let us have our fucking fun. Yeah, there. He is not having fun. He probably needs to piss and shit and eat. But you know what? Fuck it. Wait. Um, no, as a tutor in the Advantage software, you're connected to the cloud so they know what you're doing. That was on top of having to sign an agreement, take classes. And have, uh, great Troholio. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The software isn't constantly connected to the cloud. The software, you have a dongle. They give you a dongle. You can update the dongle. But after you update the dongle, you can turn off your internet and tune. Does it? It's not constantly connected to the cloud. No. Mm -mm. Incorrect. Take it from me. 444. Matthew Goodall learned the hard way. Never to buy a budget fuel system. 
Hey, Alex, do you have a recommendation of restaurants in the Miami area or around? They got Capital Grill down there. They got, um, you know, Miami is weird. Miami is primarily Spanish speaking. So the places I visited are super nice. But I think distinctive to the area. There isn't anything that stands out, honestly, in Miami. Um, because I've never visited the super high-end joints. There's super high-end joints, rooftop bars, rooftop restaurants, just super badass shit that like uh, pot-growing executives go to to have a good time and snort coke off of strippers' asses. I just don't live that life, so unfortunately, I cannot. Now, if you come to Palm Beach County, absolutely. Leftovers, food check, culinary, uh, the catch, Aladdin's, um, Roma, Aroma, is it Aroma? Aroma, Indian place. I mean, super badass places nearby. Uh, what is the X4 cloud system? The X4 cloud system is you have the ability to send a tune to the cloud and the customer can then connect his uh, SCT device to the cloud and download the tune from the cloud. I never used it. It was insanely unreliable. I just sent you a tune in an email like I used to, but since we don't fuck with SCT no more, good job, SCT. <laughs> uh, but, but, but. He would have been better off taking a picture with a disposable camera, says Jason Friedberg. Dude does not know how the cloud works, bro. <clears throat> Dude does not know how the cloud works, bruh. It's just constantly on the cloud, bro. I had a relative say, I want to, I want to, I want to make my own cloud, and I'm like, what? I want to make my own cloud. I'm like, oh, you need a, Where would be the storage? They're like in the cloud, right? <laughs> but where's the physical storage? You know, physical to virtual. What? Wait, the cloud doesn't draw off a cloud. It draws off of a physical server somewhere. And they go, what? I'm like, oh my God. And I'm stupid. And I know that. Alex, in today's COVID market, do you think it's smart to get a Mustang since they're priced so high now? Been wanting to get a 350, but everything's over 60K well in Cali. No, it's not worth to get anything now. Angel Jovell, I would treat the car market today like the housing market today. If you need it that bad, if you really need it and you have the money and you don't care about the price, go for it. But if you can wait a year or two, because the eviction, uh, the eviction, they, they're going to, I knew they were going to fucking do this, dude. They used the Delta variant. I'm sorry to get off the kilter. I was waiting for everyone to get evicted or uh, foreclosures to start taking place because people have not been paying their mortgage and rent because they stopped working because of COVID. It was supposed to expire yesterday or today. And they're going to potentially extend that. So now that landlords that haven't gotten paid rent over a year can't kick out that tenant. No, no, no. You got to kick them out or tell them to pay rent, get a job. Sorry. And I'm, I was waiting for that to buy a house. If they extend that, guess what? My ass is renting another fucking year. Fuck me. The storage is in my servers, <laughs> says Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Love it. Why does loan work with SCT no more? SCT. I, I speculate, heard that the EPA knocked on our door. They then freaked the fuck out. We have not been charged. We have not been fined. We have not been anything except they wanted to see our shop, some of our info. SET freaked the fuck out. And they said, oh, they visited you? We're out of here. Okay. So you're going to do that to every dealer that gets a visit, right? We'll see. I'm paying real close attention to this dude. No, it draws from the cloud. Then all the data you go over, the limit falls from the uh, of the limit falls from the sky. That's very good. But can I port the cloud without a tune? The new administration is planning lockdowns in blue states again in a few weeks, and the people that left blue states, aka Lund Racing, are gonna directly benefit. If you were smart and got the fuck out of a blue state, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, Delaware, and you went to a red state. I would say Texas, but Texas is, ooh, that'll be blue real soon. You, you think I'm bullshit when I say that. But Florida's free. And they came down here and they're like, no masks, no mandates. Fuck it. Let the rest of the country rot. That's what I say. Let the rest of the country fucking rot. I don't care. I live here. So, 
Too bad. Sucks for them. Um, cloud native applications are built like this. Various user interfaces connected to a middle layer shared server. I think Jay Rubin really wants to be like the centerpiece of knowledge here. And he Googles everything. Um, what's up with you, buddy? <laughs> Bubble with, will pop again, says 508. Josh, oh man. Cloud computing, big bucks, 100%. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I used to date a girl that was in IT. Um, pretty crazy what they can do nowadays. And half of her job was converting physical servers to virtual servers. But at the end of the day, you still have to have local storage. You got to go, buddy. You got to stay. I know you got to go, but sorry. You're going to have to chill out for an hour. Actually, not even. Half hour, bro. Half hour, we've done. You ain't catching me wearing a mask in Publix again, Patina Performance. You, Dude, I am now... a. I don't want to say a dick because I am a bit of a dick, but before I'd wear it because I want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. And I'm telling you, now it, people started wearing them again, like at LA Fitness and stuff. I, I Fuck you. Unless it says it in the door. No entry without a mask. Suck my dick. Matter of fact, I should be afraid the people that are vaccinated because according to the CDC, they're the ones that are getting it. Blows my mind. What do you think the EPA is doing at the moment since they haven't visited anyone else yet? Oh, they, Angel Jovell, they have visited. It's just that you don't hear them be vocal and, and public about it. We went public to have people be aware of what's happening and so that you can shine a light on their extortion game. It's 100% an extortion game. They're going to go after the big boys, they perceive, so that they can, because the big boys have money and they can extort. How, look, why did certain people get uh were allowed to continue to operate if they paid a certain fine if it's illegal why don't they make it illegal or at least give us clear guidelines clear concise guidelines to operate under there are none there are no clear guidelines it's like it's illegal because we interpret it that way fuck you uh give us money that's like the mob coming into your block let's say you open up a barber shop in your block and the mob runs the whole fucking block and they go, hey, yo, what's going on? Hey, uh, I see you set up shop here. That'll be 2,000 bucks a week. And you're like, 2,000 bucks a week? I, I, I barely cover 2,500. Cool, work harder. Give me some money. Or, you know, your glass might be broken. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the EPA, the fucking mob, bro. Been a long while since I caught her live. Where's KC? KC526 been with a Mexican dude for a little while. She's been getting dicked down by a Mexican dude and I haven't heard shit from her. Uh, Chris, the governor is a Democrat. Line of lads. Hey, Alex, did you see the race in Saudi Arabia with the badass Z CC06 and GTR and the Corvette rolled out? No. Why would I watch that? Why would I watch any racing in Saudi Arabia? They do 100 rolls. And they run for like three miles. And then they complain that their car blew up. They need, like, Proline to build their engines so they can last the kind of racing they do. Ridiculous dumb shit over there. Well, I did it for a living. I'm just a bum today. I did it for a living. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Um, What does Mike say? Mike say. What did Mike say? Mike cut. Okay, Alex. Uh, hope the new picture's better. It's on an eight-year-old phone. I refuse to buy a new phone. It, iPhone, if this still works, just trying to help. He literally said he had it on an eight-year-old phone. L let's see the new photo, guys. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's barely better <laughs> okay so check it out set set rear o2s off egr off fuck you blaming the tuner for that fuck you blaming the tuner for that yeah fuck you blaming the tuner for that when it's on the device fuck out of here with that bullshit thank you mike Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We have proof that it's on a device. Oh, no, we took care of that after they had visited us. All right. Cool. Why is the tuner a problem? Why is the tuner a problem if it was on your device? Cut the shit. Cut the bullshit. Cut the talking out of both sides of your fucking mouth. Cut that bullshit. <clears throat> hey, Alex, how do you tune from home since you aren't at Lund Racing Headquarters? I have an internet connection. That's how I have an internet connection. See, initially when I worked for Lund, uh, I was asked to move to West Palm Beach. So I moved to West Palm Beach. Lund was still in Pennsylvania. Lund had plans to move to West Palm Beach. That fell apart. 
And I was then asked to move to Pennsylvania. I, I said I could not do that because I moved my whole life to West Palm. And then three months later, I can't just pick up my whole life again and move to a cold state. I'm sorry. And then we simply said, okay, we understand. Then, you know, Alex, we're going to have to move on. I understand wholeheartedly. I understand. I was asked to move from Houston here. And now then I was asked to move to Pennsylvania. I just simply said, no, thank you. And then two years later, after I worked for VMP a little bit, they needed someone. I became available. And I said, the only way I'm doing it is if I'm working from home. There is no reason to, I can do everything I can do. Uh, I can do more. I have way less distractions here. I don't have to smell Dakota's fart. I don't have to hear Brandon pop off about guns all the time. All I have to do is shut my mouth and I work very well by myself. And the older I get, the less I like people. I really am becoming that old curmudgeon that I do not want to deal with people. How, whatever, however good they are. I, I just want to be in my own zone. Give me a task. Give me a list. I will slam it and I will be loyal. I, I never late for work. I'm never late for work. I never miss work. I work sometimes late. Sometimes I get up at midnight, can't sleep. And I start fucking working because I'm here. So um, they were nice enough to allow me to work remotely. We worked that into the uh, equation and boom, I've been here since, uh, well, I don't know, three years, going on four years or something like that. It's, it's been pretty awesome. David, it doesn't take a Texan to see that a very big percentage of the people moving to Texas bring their voting patterns with them. Cookie Monster, you sir are evil, but let's do it. What is happening? Everyone screenshot that and let's, let's rat out SCT. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I simply showed a picture of a device that shows the ability to shut off EGR and rear O2s. If they updated their firmware since then, good for them. It still doesn't take away the fact that this shit's out there. And then you blame the tuner. And then you and then you say, oh, you guys violated, you violated some agreement. How the fuck? We didn't get charged with nothing. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We rep the uh, HPT RTD. And that has taken off, and the sales are popping, so we're good. We're good. What's up, buddy? Now, you're going to wait. You got a half hour. You got a half hour. A half hour. You got a half hour, dude. What do you want? You just want bread. All, all you want is fucking bread. You want food all the time. I know. I know, buddy. I know. Um, I was born in 77. I also can't be bothered with people. It's weird how it works, right? The older you get, the less you want to be around people. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to be around people. You want to just be left alone and do your own thing. Hey. So at the end of the day, uh, I don't think I can work with anybody ever again. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I can work in an atmosphere where there are other people talking. I, I, I can't. You know, I'd rather start my own business and do my own thing and live and die based on that. I, I don't want to deal with people. Um, by the way, we got a bunch of new members. Thank you so much. We got Joseph Bargo, Anthony J, Brandon M. And by the way, guys, there are 349 concurrent viewers on the chat today and 65 likes. I really hate to do this, but after watching Kevin Samuels the other day, he says, if the engagement rate is not high, meaning people physically liking your, your, your video, if the engagement rate is not high, algorithmically, YouTube goes like this to sharing the video. So let's say, for instance, I have a thousand viewers and four people like it. Algorithmically, they tell me to suck dick and the thing just kind of goes away. So I really hate to say this, but I'm going to have to say this for the first time ever. Can you please get those likes up? Because the engagement rate, if you actually look at the metrics in terms of engagement, audience engagement, meaning you guys click on something, all of a sudden, algorithmically, everything works properly. You guys get to see more of my shit. And look at that. It went from 77 to 109 likes. Thank you guys very much. It's a real simple gesture. It doesn't cost you nothing. I'm not asking you to subscribe or buy nothing. So I appreciate that very much. I only have tolerance for five-minute conversations. After that, I'm not interested. Understand this. If we are talking for more than five minutes, I'm expecting sex from you. <laughs> Because that's my payment. That is my <laughs> that's my payment, bro. Uh, what about Camaros? Damn, I'm 26 and I already hate people. Um, someone pressed like. Thank you very much. What he's trying to say is smash that like button. Says Great Troll Holio. 23 and I hate people. I'm telling you, valid 20 and I'm used to doing stuff solo. Also, it's really addicting, and you have to be careful because what happens is 
you can go off into a, a dark place where you don't want to be around anybody or anything. And by the way, we, we have Joseph Bargo, Anthony J, Brandon M, all Beecho level members. I really appreciate the membership. The memberships are a consistent revenue stream and it helps channel growth. It helps me buy equipment. It helps me do a little bit of everything. I appreciate that. The real ones are subscribed though. I had a guy today um, hit, hit me up. You know, could you imagine you're a man with balls between your legs and you actually type, I don't like this guy. Like you physically type that. I don't like, he sounds like he's hating on, I think he's a premenopausal woman. I'm like, you're a man with balls and you actually type that out. Like, wow, blows my mind. Just don't start financing cars to give away. Michael Merck, you're on the money. If I ever do that, guys, if I ever set up a giveaway that requires you to go to a website and sign up for something that costs you money, call me out on that shit, man. Call me gay. Call me whatever the hell you want because that is the gayest trend going on on Facebook. All right, guys, if you buy a shirt, you're automatically entered for the free, no cost to you giveaway if you buy a $25 shirt. The fuck? Thoughts on the new Big Block 572 Copo Camaro? No one cares. No one cares. It's a race car. No one gives two fucking shits. I can't drive it on the street. I don't care. Um, 210 and going. 219. Love it. Alex, what do you think about the new electric muscle car coming from Dodge in the near future? Potential coup to name. If Dodge keeps everything going like I think they are, they can keep the same body and that would be the game changer, right? Imagine you love, because who, the red eye, the, 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 the challenger, every challenger body, newer challenger body, looks pretty much the same as when it first came out, but it's a good looking car. How dare you say it's not a good looking car? And even the red eye challenger is a good, uh, sorry, charger is a good looking car. So imagine, they already weigh 4,700 pounds or 4,500 pounds respectively. Imagine, they are now electric and now run tens. Right off the showroom floor, electric. Looks great. It'll run 10 on the street. 10-5. Dodge would have a fucking winner. And they don't need a long range. Because you're buying electric muscle. E-muscle. So E-muscle, I'm okay with a 100 mile range. I'm okay with a 200 mile range. Just give me all the shit. It'll just be my race car. I drive it from here to the track. Zip around three or four laps. Drive it home. It's my ice cream getter. Build me that. Build me an electric muscle car. Ford, build an electric muscle car. Build an electric muscle. You don't think the GT500, what's it, 89, 80, 85 to $90,000? You don't think if you built an S550 body, but just made it electric, and it went zero to 60 in the twos, you don't think motherfuckers will buy that? Absolutely they will. Absolutely. freaking lutely Oh, man. Thoughts on the Edelbach 2650 10R80 pros and con? So the 2650, um, in my opinion, is only good when you have a 103 millimeter throttle body. Now, it is not a reliable throttle body. I have seen not a lot, but it is prone to failing, getting stuck open or closed depending on boost level. That's why I retrofitted a Whipple 132 on my Edelbrock blower. And I've shown you many times how that works. So I think the Whipple throttle body is more reliable than the Edelbrock, but the Edelbrock with a 103, look, um, Omar Garza, that guy literally has it nailed. 103, six rib, 120 millimeter cold air, or 113, whatever it comes with, <clears throat> E85, things a 940, car 10R80, stock trans, no clutches. Stock trans, no clutches, 940, full weight. That's the perfect street strip car. Auto, chilling, don't got to constantly clutch in, stock shit, goes to the track, runs 940 in good DA. And in the nines, even in bad DA. That's impressive to me. E-Muscle just needs enough range to gapple bees. Exactly, because your E85 car that makes 1,000 has a 150-mile range. Let's, let's not get it twisted. If you fill up and your car has a capability of going, uh, making a thousand horse, that's a 150, 120 mile range. You have four or five watt pulls, that bitch is down. 
So if an electric muscle car did something similar, sacrifice range for performance, it will sell. How many people right now, YouTubers alike, muscle car guys alike, are seeing the Model uh, S Plaid Edition run 90s, 9192s consistently and literally going, I got to order one of the motherfuckers. You're telling me that bitch chaps 150 doesn't make a sound and I can drive 500 miles on a, on a charge? I'm in. I'm in. AEM Tesla swapped a three valve. Nice. Damn, finally it catch you live without uh, you catch, li catch you live out here in Germany. Eli Gonzalez, thank you very much. Let's talk about uh, F-Body, Badass, Camaros, and T-Tops. Let's not. Let's not. Jason Cook, there is no such thing as electric muscle car. That's stupid. It will just be a fast car. Muscle cars, by definition, no longer exist. Once the electric, once the electric takeover happens, this is my opinion. Don't bash me so much. No, I think you just think you're wrong. Because what is muscle? Muscle car means it don't handle for shit. Big, stupid V8, rear-wheel drive, uh, light-to-light bruiser. That's muscle. Muscle. It's it's a lot of power. Rear wheel drive generally. Big motor. So make an electric version of that. Why can't there be e-muscle? Because it doesn't make sound. Stop it. You selling that Section 8 shirt on your store page? Uh, it's on uh, Vinyl Freaks and Company. Again, vinylfreaksandcompany.com. Uh, Hit them up. They have Section 8, Section 8 shirts. They have uh, La Mama Lona shirts. They have uh, Champ Stamp shirts. They have everything. I don't get a cut. I don't get paid. I don't get anything. I get zero from it. I allowed them to do it because you guys wanted stuff and they were more than happy to do it. Is it a stupid business decision? Absolutely. But they want to help you guys get merch. I don't have the time, patience, people. Look, I, if I have to start making shirts, that means I have to fuck with people. And I don't want to fuck with people. Let, let them do that. Let them make some of that money doing that shit. And then when it comes time for me to handle the merch, I'll let you know. I'll set up a website and sell merch. But for now, Vinyl Freaks and Company, get, get the shit there. If the Roadster is close to Nervara, it's going to be insane. Um, yeah. It, I mean, Ner Nervara? <laughs> yeah, the Tesla Plaid Plus, Elon said, was supposed to have a 500-mile range. But they could pair the power with they, they, they could pair the power with that range. With an electric car, it'll be similar range compared to a similar gas car. But it'll be cheaper to fill up once you never got to hit up a gas station. Just plug it in when you're home, like on a cell phone. I don't understand people that get so bent out of shape about charging your car when they treat their phone. If you're under 20% and you don't have a charger with you, you're probably really stupid, right? If you're under 20%, you're not going to just take off without the charger for a day. Same thing with a car. You're going to be like, shit, let me plan my life out. I got a charger at home, plug it in overnight. I got 300 plus mile range. I'll do my thing. Never do you say, well, I got 20% battery in my Tesla. Let me drive it to Michigan. No, stop it. Angel Jovell, do you ever think at one point we won't be able to drive any gas vehicles and the government makes us drive electric? It's possible. I'm not saying it's probable, but anything's possible. Electric performance is here, and it's making a big statement. Ken Barry, that is the understatement of today's chat. The electric market, when you saw the power potential, 4,700-pound Tesla running 9091.92, unheard of. Unheard of. No. Again, no. Gas powered car at 4,700 pounds can match its performance. None. Name a car that's 4,700 pounds can run a 909192 at 150 and get a 400 mile range. Under a million dollars. Zero zip nada. It is the best car made today, period. Think about it. Think about it. Thing has self-drive. Thing has more technology in it than, than fuck many. I mean, it has more technology in it than any, anything ever. Like, there, seriously, think about it. Motherfucker self-drives. Motherfucker goes 9-0s. Uh, 9 one 4,700 pounds. 500 mile range. You go to sleep, jerk off while you're watching Pornhub in it. Uh, how, 
Name any other vehicle. Name any other vehicle you can do that in. Hell, name any vehicle you can watch Pornhub in while it drives itself and you can jerk off. Nobody. Uh, Wit SVT became a member. Bitch a level. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. We got 248 likes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It went from 60 to 248 by simply asking. Just hit the like button. Because, again, you know what Kevin Samuels does? And if you don't know Kevin Samuels, he's, he's great. He's a, he's a pro man show. He's like, I I'm just going to play music and just chill the fuck out so the engagement goes up. And then if he gets mad because the super chats aren't going, he just stops He just stops talking. He's like, this information is valuable. And he just goes away and plays music. <laughs> then, then he sees the money come back. Boom, he comes back. I'm like, I don't got those kind of balls. No way. Alex, why do you like them so much when they basically are killing your job? Gee, you are a fucking retard. What a fucking retard motherfucking retard hey get the fuck out of here because i'm i'm gonna fuck you out right now motherfucker how many sedans do i tune how many sedans do i tune anybody anybody zero i tune more coupe race cars that will be around forever the tesla is not gonna take away from my job it's gonna supplement it you know why because the guy's going to go, I still love ICE vehicles, internal combustion engines. I still love my Mustang with Corsa Gaze. I still love that. But I'm going to supplement my fleet with a badass Tesla. Nobody is going to sell their hot rod for a Tesla. They're just going to buy a Tesla to supplement their fleet. Nobody is going to sell their hot rod, Cobra, Coyote Swap Notch, uh, Bronco Coyote Swap, uh, 60s Coyote Swap. They're not going to do that. Oh, they're killing your job. I hope they kill my job. I mean, I don't got to send out a flex tune that a guy doesn't understand, doesn't lock into place. And if it doesn't lock into place, use the dedicated tune because he don't know how to fucking read. Please. Come on. Come on, Carlito. I wasn't even turned on, oh, man. Shit. Oh, Alex, you know, your job's going to be over. It's over, Johnny. Oh, okay. That's It's him. over. <laughs> Nothing is over. <laughs> Nothing. You just don't turn it off. Ice vehicles will be around long after I'm done tuning. I don't think I'm going to tune five more years. You think I'm going to tune five more years? You think I'm going to tune for five more years? When Ford starts locking computers and saying fuck you to the market, and people are going to start swapping vehicles. People are going to start swapping vehicles. Are oh, they going to coyote swap everything? Because they still want internal combustion engines. But if everything goes like it's going, ethanol goes away, pump gases, astronomical prices, and electric cars become more prevalent and perform better, I'll adjust to the market. What do you think makes more money? This channel or my job? Why do you think I'm cranking this up? I'm not going to just sit back on my heels and go, well, I'm out of, I'm out of business. I'm fucked. I'm going to suck dick to make rent. No, I'm going to be in the performance automotive market probably forever. And if electric takes over the market, I'll talk about electric. I'll buy an electric one. I'll understand it. I'll modify it. I'll, I'll get knee deep into it. Oh, man. You're right. The people can't afford it. Right. Guys, hit the smiley on the corner, left side, and scroll down from my Samsung phone. Uh, YouTube. Okay, got it. I will never sell my ice car even if Tesla runs eight. Exactly, Eliza's 5.0. Let's say you can afford a Tesla, Plaid, or whatever. The Roadster is going to be an eight-second car. The Roadster is going to be an eight-second car. So what does that mean? Does that mean you're going to get rid of your stick shift boosted car that makes all the cool whooshing sounds nope you're gonna want the whooshy bells and cams and whoop choo wee woo whoop choo, you're gonna want all that bullshit and then you're gonna look at your if you can afford a, a, a electric vehicle big money electric vehicle you're gonna go that's my daily bitch is fast but if i want to get my dick hard i drive my ice car my ice vehicle um last 20 minutes of a members only stream is hush money story oh yeah there you go uh, don't forget to double a uh, double fist. Nothing is over. He already said why hush money is called hush money. Gotta find it. I guess he doesn't know that there are Tesla tuners out there. Exactly. People are taking Tesla motors and putting them into AC Cobras, aka uh, Factory Five Cobras. I saw a video the other day. Someone sent me where a guy put a Tesla powertrain in a 
Little Cobra, the bitch was fast. Not quick. Fuck, it was like 0 to 60 in like 2-0. It was dumb fast. I was like, oh my god. Tesla powered backdraft Cobra. That would be cool, but it sounds really expensive. Alex Hiddell says, I just got ultimate headers for my 15 GT. This is my first car with long tubes. Will I notice a power difference once they're installed? Already lung tuned, so no revisions needed, right? Correct. No revisions needed. If you get a light because you remove certain equipment, we can't do anything about it. You will notice a no you will notice a big difference. Um, especially tone, low end, and top end. It, it, trust me, it, it's not gonna be like, oh my god, it's like turbo, but you're definitely gonna notice a performance gain for sure. Porsche's new synthetic fuel might save ices. There are legit invested reasons to keep ice somewhat alive, but they have cars that continue to increase in value so as long as they drive. Exactly. So badass ice performance vehicles are going to be over $100,000. Badass electric uh, vehicles are going to be over $100,000. And if Dodge says, I will sell you a nine-second Challenger that looks just like a Challenger for $90,000 or $95,000, it will sell. Understand this, guys. If you can barely afford a fifty thousand dollar car, don't worry about what Tesla's doing. You're already broke. You can that is not that market is not for you. That market is for people that have a lot of money. And this market, the high performance market, and the latest techno the latest technology is expensive. And <laughs> this is not a broke man's game. This is not a broke man's game. Verbal tune is about to be the new Viagra. Electric cars can be tuned. Always going to be tuners, exactly. By the way, I'm on the way to TV with no trailer and watching Pornhub cheat code. Oh, so I found out who cheat code was. I found out his name. I'm just going to say this. If I find out you treat any of my friends badly, I'm not going to be too happy about that shit. So, you know, people are powered by the hour. People at Lund Racing, people anywhere that get that I deal with, that I fuck with, and you treat them badly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look too favorable upon you. So let's just say that. I'm not gonna go off on a on a tangent. I'm just saying, I got a long ass fucking memory. Like a fucking elephant. I remember everything, how everyone treated me, how everyone treated my friends, the shit they said on email, instant messenger. I remember everything. So just keep that in mind. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's a first gen RX-7 and it blew the tires off with the Tesla powertrain. It was quite the sight. Joey Lago says, hey, Alex, I have a 19 GT stock at the moment looking to make 650 to 700 with a passive Vortec on pump gas. What pulley will I need? What other mods are necessary? Thank you. Keep up the good work. If you have a 19 GT, 3.6 pulley is the lowest pulley I would go size-wise in terms of pump gas. And it's going to be really close to your power goals as long as you have a higher flowing uh, intake assembly on the uh, supercharger or if you run it without an intake assembly. But I'd rather you run an intake assembly to have a filter so you don't suck in a fucking bolt and there goes your uh, your impeller. But honestly, a 3.6 Vortec on pump gas will make that power uh, pretty easily for sure. Um, Dan, calling him out. You got, look, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm, I'm loyal. Anyone fucks with people I know, and then I find out who they are, I don't fuck with them. Like, forever. For, forever. Probably a nice guy, probably has a, had a bad day. That doesn't mean you can pop off on the dude. You just can't pop off on people that I like. Because I'm subsequently not going to like you. Because they're my friends. That's how, how it is. Too many people in this industry play both sides. Way too many people in this industry play both sides. So I'm not going to play both sides. I'm going to be like, if you are my friend and someone, whether it be a customer, a company, anything, talk shit to you, I do not fuck with them. That is gone from this industry. Now people are fucking with people that fuck with us. And I'm like, so that makes me not fuck with you. So... Yeah, that's that's one of those old school things on me in me that just will never die. I just that's just how I am. If you're my friend and, and you're special to me and, and in my life, and someone fucks with you, they're my enemy. Just like that. <clears throat> Only eleven through fourteen need fuel pumps. What's going on here? Dodge made turbine cars in the seventies. They did. <laughs> I gotta look this up. That'd be interesting stuff to talk about. <clears throat> uh, Road rage eight sixty. You're not going off. What the fuck? I'm, I'm trying not. No, I didn't name his name. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, fuck all that shit. 
Love the show. Keep it up, says Will. Uh, Alex, I have a 16 GT. Uh, I was wondering what you think of the Outerbox 2650. I have one. I have one. I have one. So people must not watch the channel that much, right? My Fairmont has a Edelbrock 2650 in it. It's been 870s. It's first time at the track. It is a very well-made blower. IATs are good. Makes good power. I talked about Omar Garza that has one has been 940s. I've said it many, many times. Love you, love you, love you. My con says, Alex, can I get a 21 plus Mustang B2 on a Gen 3 control back since the computers are locked? I don't know. Mike Hunt, I don't know. Because then your ABS won't work. Your traction control won't work. Your body control module might not work. I mean, there's a lot of things that might not work if you put a Ford Racing control pack in a car. I don't know what communicates with what. Like a lot of people, they get crank pallets, right? What's a crank pallet? They take everything away. They take everything away from a, a car, put it on a pallet, and they go, vroom, look at that, motherfuckers. It runs, and you're like, oh my God, a crank a pallet. You get the crank a pallet home, you take the time to wire everything in. So now the car is looking for a radio antenna, seats, ABS, you know, your Fox body with ABS. It's looking for a, par a, a switch so that when you hit the brake, it actually goes into drive. And you're like, yeah, this thing starts, but it doesn't run tuner what's wrong with the car tuner i'm like no crank a pallet that i know physically runs on a vehicle because you have to if you don't have abs all the lights fucking pop up if you're not if you don't have the body control module like it was on an exact uh you know vehicle that it came off of it just won't run it might not even go into gear if it's an auto so be mindful of that in my opinion get the engine in trans Take the control pack, throw it in the, oh, take the uh, stock wiring harness, throw it in the garbage and buy a control pack because it's a swap vehicle. The control pack has already been pared down, taking all the sh unnecessary shit out of it. And if you have the right cold air and injector, you can start the car and drive it on the control pack too. Why wouldn't you do that? <clears throat> Reaching a new crowd, remember? Uh, okay. Someone wanted to know they need fuel system around E85. <laughs> if it's boosted, absolutely. Um, and boom, bye, bye actually experienced what the Fairmont can do on the street. Like he's like, Oh shit, that, that thing, he was next to me. I didn't know who he was. And I just goosed it just to see, you know, if he would play, he's, he went up to like, he goes, I'm not looking to play with that fun car. I know that car. I'm like, Oh, okay. And he told me he was a fan. He has like an orange, um, an orange, uh, S550 2019 and up or 2018 and up. Alex, any stories on roll racing when driving around town or dig of any of your fast cars? Yeah, that was boom, bye, bye. That was one of them. I've raced a couple of Hellcats in the Fairmont, but now the Fairmont looks fast. You see tires, wheels and tires and all this shit, and you're like, I ain't fucking with that car. Nobody wants to even line up next to Section Hate. Uh, the white car is an unassuming car, and I don't really race it that much. I'm not looking to race it, but no real interesting stories because, honestly, I don't do a lot of street shit. Uh... Going to the meets is AIDS, like full-blown AIDS. It's just awful here. Everyone is, they, they don't even want to race you un, unless you know they're draggy times. Could you imagine going to a meet right now and you're like, hey, nice car, blah, blah, you want to run? What are you draggy? What? Yeah, what are you draggy? I'm like, I don't, I'm draggy. I'm draggy nothing. Oh, I'm not racing you unless I know what you're draggy. So you don't want to run me? No, okay, cool. And they're like, what an idiot. He doesn't have draggy. And I'm like, why do I need to tell you? So if I tell you my car draggy 390, 60 to 130, you're going to run me? No. So it takes the fun away from racing. And if you beat them, they want to fucking steal your shit. If you race any guy from Miami and you beat them handily, they're going to find out where you live and steal your car. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Thoughts on on three kids. Uh, on three kids are a budget system. They work well. The quality isn't awful but it's not great either but i've tuned many on three kids that simply make power would i buy it on three kit not just no but fuck no but do you will you uh make power on an on three kit and perform pretty well sure no problem there's no racers up here in massachusetts could you imagine um ford racing control pack or pbh always what you should do for a coyote control pack wiring is light to work it's it's light work to get done says patino performance got it um, here we go. Daniel Mahano. There's no racers. I already got that. Alex Cadell. Taking any dates out driving in the Fairmont. Uh, one girl. Her name. I'll, I'll give you her name. 
Oh my God, I forgot her name. Wow, I forgot her name. Miami girl. Holy shit, I totally forgot her name. I went out with her for a little bit. I just totally blanking on her name. Took her in the Fairmont and she was uh, vis visibly shaken and scared as fuck. She's like, this thing is a death trap. I'm like, I know, right? It's been an awesome fucking death trap. And she smelled like E85 uh, after that. <laughs> What's a druggie anyway? Um, sounds like Mustang lifestyle. Let's go to the meet. <laughs> Estoy gringo. And we got a couple minutes left. I'm going to stay another couple minutes and then get the hell out of here. Can you ever see the government telling Jay Leno and the other rich guys those massive classic collections saying you have to take them to the crusher now? No, not not um, not Jay Leno. You know, some you just have to understand that certain people in society have certain perks that others don't. I have certain perks that others don't, but not enough to matter. Like, look, when I got pulled over going 135 in a 55, guy could have arrested me right then and there. You know what he did? Because I didn't treat him like a fucking dickhead. He said, God damn it. You know, you're going to get a ticket. You got to go to court. You might lose your license, but, you know, do your best to do this and this and that. Boom, done. I think the way you're treated is how you treat people. Because if you kill them with kindness, they have no other reason but to treat you well. But if you come across like a dickhead, they're going to treat you like a dickhead. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with people like Leno and the Uber Rich. I don't think they'll get fucked with, to be honest with you. Totally, uh, 812 says, damn, I can't believe I missed half the show. Yeah, you did. Court, court, gem, good chat, whatever. Hey, Alex, didn't I buy the four innovations fuel system? What's the difference in the regulator before and after in parallel to the fuel rails? None. None. It doesn't matter where you regulate it. Some people like it after the rail. Some people like it before the rail. I have it both ways. In the tune, it doesn't matter. The GT500 has a true return style fuel system, which I don't prefer. And it has the regulator after the rails. The um, Fairmont and the red car have the regulator way before the rail. Both act the same, both tune the same. So it's all about how you want to configure it. Uh, let me let me put Mr. Mr. Uh, Court Jemayan in timeout because uh, spamming is a real big no-no here. Let's just not spam shit, okay? Ask it once, and if you don't get it uh, answered, too fucking bad. <clears throat> going, to, going to the meets is like going to a bunch of dudes saying they have 10-inch dongs, but their browsing history is loaded with penal enhancement searches. That's pretty good. Oh, my God, you're so dreamy going that fast. <laughs> I'm not dreamy. Um, Jason Freiberg's out of here. Damn, what's all these blast emojis? Got it. Have you have any dates in Section 8? I imagine them getting in. No. Section 8 is not a car you drive to a date. It's a car you drive to get ice cream or trailer to the track. That's all it is. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Tyler Highstand, he's actually here. Um, Tyler Highstand actually lives in my complex. He says, that's just like my street racing 145 in a 40 on the street. She knew I was going to be in trouble. Tyler, Tyler's a good guy. He actually... Um, sold me the cat pack for the 19 Mustang, uh, at laid out five Oh is his Instagram. He's a local dude. Nice guy as a Raptor, as a gen three young kid. And he does nothing but work. So I respect the shit out of that. All right, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend. It is Friday. Go out there, have a good time. It's hot as fuck. Who the fuck knows if, if, if lockdowns are coming. So if you live in a blue state, I would do enjoy the shit out of this weekend because mid-August, they're talking of potentially locking shit down again, you know, just so they can fuck with you again. So hopefully you can enjoy the few weekends you have left. Luckily, I'm in Florida, and I'm staying in Florida, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life down here because it's a free state as long as DeSantis and people alike are in power. All right, guys, have a great, have a great, uh, okay, let me, let me get, every single time I leave, people get mad that I don't play the sound clips. So let's play some of the sound clips, and let's just go front to back. You son of a <laughs> bitch. How you doing? Can I get a oh, yeah. The baby has been able to latch, but I've not been able to produce any milk. Hey, okay. get the fuck out of here because I'm I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. <laughs> And he got freaking A. Freaking A. And Coop talks like a fag. <laughs> he talks like a fag, too. Asshole. Oh, yeah. Hey, Wally. Heavy duty. Heavy what duty. What the fuck? What's up, nigga? Hey. You want to squabble? Hey. Bloody fuck you, bloody. Fucking mother, bloody fuck bitch. It's a trap. <laughs> Take this out, fool. Okay, You're coming that? a little too high. Too high. Out, and then we have, where is blowing off Corvettes in the weeds? Great enthusiasm. We were blowing the Corvettes off in the weeds. All right, guys, have a great Friday, great weekend. I will see you guys, Peasant Chat, 9.30 a.m. Sunday, and that dating channel tomorrow 
8 p.m. unless I have a date, and I'll let you know if I do or don't. All right, guys, have a great weekend. See you guys later. Say bye, Tony. Tony's asleep. Holy shit, dude, wake up. Say, say bye to the people. Say bye to the people. Say bye to the people.